everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and I've got a cool little box here to show you guys. Let's take a look and see what's inside. This is not so much a box as it is a case. It's got two little zippers, and it's a nice hard shell with some foam inside. Of course, we have ourselves the Yixin E56 little drone. That's a pretty neat little setup. It's a lot like the other folding arm drones you've seen on the channel before. See here, we've got the little arms that fold out. Snap into place. Looks an awful lot like just all of the little drones that are the little box shape. Uh, the cool thing though, the difference in this, is the little PS4 nunchuck knockoff here as a controller. I mean, that really is straight up copy of that little PS4 nunchuck um, little gaming controller, but I like that a lot. It's a cool idea to have a uh, drone controlled like that. It's really neat, so I'm very excited to try that. We also have our little battery in here. And then here's our USB charge cable. It does charge directly to the battery. So you just plug in there and you have a little light indicator telling you when it's charged. It looks like it came with four spare props and a little Phillips screwdriver in case you happen to lose one of those props or break one. I love that it all fits in this very, very nice case. It really is extremely nice. I mean, if this is a good little product, then I just love that it comes with that case. And you get all of this, under $50, so that's awesome. Now we'll have a link in the description box below if you wanna check it out for yourself, but before you buy it, let's go see how it flies, and then we'll let you know if it's worth that $50 or not. All right, we're gonna start the video. We do have an indicator on screen, and then uh, what I'm doing is holding the phone in my left hand and this little joystick thing in my right hand, and we click the joystick to get the motors to start, and then I push up on that joystick, and now it's all tilt control. So as I tilt this little joystick in my hand, that's controlling the flight, which is really cool. Normally we see this on phones and it works pretty well, but now I am not having to tip my monitor. I can watch my monitor here and uh, I control the altitude with that one joystick up and down and the yaw with that joystick. So I love the concept here. This is really, really awesome. I kind of want to step out there just to show you guys how I'm flying this. Let me just rotate it around. This is very, it's very intuitive feeling. I really like it with that one joystick. It's very cool. I've never flown anything like this before. Let me just step out there. really a lot of fun to fly like that. We do have a rate button up top, our little trigger button, so we're in the higher rate now, at least rate two, and I can zip around a lot, a lot easier in this. We have a light breeze, so it's actually going really well now. And man, just that one joystick feels really good. I like this. And I have to scratch the back of my neck, and that's why it started to go crazy. <laughs> Let's see if there's a higher rate. There is. Okay. So three rates. Uh huh. Let's uh, cruise around. You only have this one flight control option. So for someone that's wanting to try, no, you can fly it on your phone. Can too. you really? I'm guessing. Ah, yeah. okay. Well, with this transmitter style, this is the only flight option we have. So if you guys are looking for a new challenge of way to fly your quads, this is really cool. I like this. I didn't think it would work very well, but it does. How's the video signal? Video signal is really good. It's uh, usable. Wi-Fi, so it's not amazing. But just to prove it, I'll show you. Let's get us in frame here. Now the sun is to our back, so it's not going to look great. So I'm using that Wi-Fi signal. Don't want to fly away much further than I am now to get me and Abby in frame. So there you go. We're in frame. And looks okay. Uh, let's see. I think there was uh, there's a light button. So I can turn the lights on and off, although it's too bright, you guys won't be able to tell that right now. And let's see, what else did I have? I think there was one more thing, headless mode, yes. So if I hit headless mode, uh, no, it's really, really off. So I had to hit that button again before I lost the drone. Easy to fly though, very easy to fly. And headless Nathan mode did work. calibrate this before Yes, I did. Uh, you just press and hold one button on this controller. I like this Rate 3. It's really good. Do you want to try this? Yeah. Okay, let me land it before. It has an oh, auto land, doesn't it? 
I'm just gonna hold down. If it does, I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna let you... Yeah, it does. You click that right stick again, that, that joystick. Or left stick if you're holding it in your, in your left hand. All right, ready? Yeah, Abby's at the controls. Now that's your right button you clicked. Oh, how do I take off? Click the joystick. Oh. And now push up for throttle. There you go. Now you're in rate one, so it's gonna struggle to fight that wind. Abby's at the controls here, though. Let's see. Back. Mm-hmm. Forward. Yep. Left. Yep. Right. Yeah. That's pretty quick to respond. Yeah. Yes, it is. I, I like it. It's it's a lot different, isn't it? Yeah. It's like flying with tilt control on your phone, but now you have this little joystick controller that fits in your hand really well. I like it. And you have the Wi-Fi FPV on your phone. Very cool. That's pretty neat. I'll try some y'all. Think of how hard it is to fly this when you're doing the tilt control on your phone. And now how easy it is with that little nunchuck thing. Not bad. <laughs> it's okay. See the lights on it too? There are white, bright white lights on the front and pretty bright red lights on the back. But the sun is just so bright right now. It's definitely easier to fly this when uh, it's facing away from you. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's a like a new concept. Yeah. You know, if you flew it a lot, it'd probably be easier to fly different orientation. There's some cyclone action. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, if you went in higher rates, they'd look better. I'm in the highest rate. Rate two, aren't you? No, rate three. Ah, okay. Cyclones. Nice. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. You're making everybody dizzy on the <laughs> FPV. I like it. I'm impressed. I love the little case it comes with too. Don't forget about that. That is one of the nicest cases I've ever seen on a toy gray drone. That's a very nice case. It's high quality. High quality case 2-0, Abby. Oh, we got a red light on the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it like that the whole time? Yep. Oh. Yep, that just, that's what I was saying earlier, talking about the lights. Well. When we started it, the, at least the front has a blue light. Maybe that's why. Really? Call it, yeah. See, it's like a blue. I thought white. it was white. Bluish white. Okay. Now, oh, it blinked out. Here us. we go, here we go, here we go. Going behind us. Sorry. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. And I'm impressed with the decent flight time. That, oh, okay. Okay, I thought that was the flight time. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's trying to land. See, it's flashing. Ah, uh, yeah, probably a low battery. We're looking at five or six minutes, roughly. Yeah. I'm not surprised. It's not bad. Are you giving it full throttle up? I'm gonna stop recording. Okay. Just in case. Make sure it can save. Yeah. Okay, so no more video. She's turned her phone off and tucked it away in her pocket. Now this is full up. Full up, and it's trying to land. Yeah. I just let it land. There you go. Come on down, little drone. There we go. I like that one. Cool. Well, there you have it. Little e Sheen random number drone that I already forgot. <laughs> it has the folding arms, which work really, really well. One thing that most people complain about when we do these little folding arm drones is they don't like flying on your phone. Well, here's the solution. This awesome little transmitter that really works very well. Smaller than the drone. Fits, I have big hands and it fits in my hand really well. Feels good. There's your rate switch up there. You have emergency stop, calibrate, lights, headless mode. Headless mode was worth passing on. The big thing is this joystick. This joystick stops and starts your motors. It's your throttle and your yaw control. And then you tilt it for pitch. And it worked so well. And this comes in a very nice case. If you know anybody that likes drones of any kind, this needs to be in their stocking. 100%. I mean, it is just very cool. It has the very good altitude hold, and uh, of course, it's little brushed geared motors, but overall, it just looks good. It's this nice white, sleek kind of DJI plastic on here. I really like this. Uh, it's a new concept, so I think they've done a very good job with this. Uh, one thing that I didn't point out earlier is that you can actually tilt the camera angle all the way straight down if you want to, and everything in between 
all the way up to completely horizontal. So good job on the camera angle. I think the quality looked pretty good on her phone. And let's not forget that it does have that Wi-Fi FPV capability. So what you're doing is holding one phone here and you're flying like this and you just have your FPV shot and you're flying around using the tilt control. Very, very cool. This is a home run. Um, as far as toy grade goes, I'm a huge fan of this. I'll have a link in the description box below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. I highly recommend grabbing one of these before the price goes up because I know it will. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, especially right now. If you're newer and you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date and get some good Christmas shopping ideas. Over the next month and a half or so, that's going to be prime shopping time because of the slower shipping with some of the websites that we refer to. So you guys definitely want to keep an eye out. We're going to do our best to bring you some good quality stuff, as good as we can, uh, cheaper things, and some more expensive things. So stay tuned. We'll have a big variety on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.